All right, everybody, welcome back. Hello, I'm everybody. Eric. I am Eli. This is Stan Tupperware. <laughs> we're spinning. We're losing it, and we're here to battle um, Cassiopeia, who we're like 99% sure is Penny. If it's not Penny, I'll be floored. I'll I'll grow my hair out. <laughs> I'd say I'd shave my hair, but I just normally do that, so I got to do the opposite. I'll grow my hair out. It'll look like me, except better. <laughs> oh, whatever. You look great, Joe. Are you in? You're in. You're in! Piss! Pee! Crap. Even. I hope YouTube doesn't mind that word. I don't know how YouTube feels about piss. We're gonna find out. Piss. <laughs> <laughs> Am I pushing the buttons? Uh, wow, we haven't been in the school in so long. Steel type moves? Two types? No, actually three if you get the Terra properly. Oh, there we go. Schoolyard. Where are you? What do you do? This thing? Yeah. Wow. I have not been here in since the beginning of the game. I just, I don't know. It felt like it was tutorials. It, I don't know. Maybe it's more. But I'll check that out on my personal time. Because if it was tutorials, I'd feel bad dragging everybody through that. Right. Where are we going? I think schoolyard. Under nurse's office. Oh, wow. My brain just was not registering that word. <laughs> like, where the hell is it? I've been through the menu twice. Two times. What? The Eevee backpack? Oh, uh, you're Penny's voice. Eli and Eric. I'm glad that you chose not to go deep voice because now, now they don't have the technology. It's like face to face. Yeah. Who could it be? <laughs> Palpatine? Thanks for coming. Execute Order 66. Which means <laughs> like, good, soldier, good soldiers follow orders. Go off. <laughs> Trying to find fucking younglings to kill. Oh, that's a kind of eerie, cocky smile coming from what's supposed to be uh, anxious. Great ball. <laughs> yeah. Cosplayer. Huh. This must be quite a shock for you. The big boss. You have no idea Cassiopeia. how little of a shock it is to me. They were both me all along. And I can promise you, I did not look up any spoilers. I didn't have anything spoiled for me. It's just not... I mean, maybe it's meant to be obvious. So, I don't know. Did anybody play this and not figure out who it was immediately? We've uh, seen three of the Elite Four members. Hassel, uh, Rika, and... What was it, Poppy? The little girl? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the little girl. I'm like, who the hell? You've lucked out. You haven't had the fourth one <gasps> spoiled for you. I have because of a freaking YouTube thumbnail. Don't spoil it for me. Is it really, like, mind-blowing? Is it like, oh, it's them? Or is it a character we haven't seen yet? Um, Just, uh, that's all the hint I want. I'm gonna say neither. I, okay. Don't know how to feel about that. Let's continue on, and then we'll get there. When I saw you made quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside the school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me grab hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. Digital security, or digital currency is unsecure, and I was able to manipulate the market. Much like Elon Musk, I now have more money than I know what to do with. I don't even print it. I speak it. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit and had to battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, <laughs> there's pose. part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you in without putting up a fight. Well, I'm so confused as to what Penny even wants. Are you trying to end it? Are you trying to not end it? Like, what this, are you doing? This is the final countdown. I mean, showdown. The final showdown. Ba 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 ba. Boopy ba boop ba. It has to be different <laughs> enough, right? Like, it's, it's, uh, 
avoiding copyright claim. Final shoutdown. Thanks. Final countdown. Shoutdown. <laughs> oh, oh, he's got the time. hair back. Come on, man. Who are you doing this for? Sorry to keep you. My hair takes a while to put on. The letter of apology, Miss Time had me air. I mean, uh, preparations took longer than I expected. That voice. Are you Clive? Penny, so it was you after, uh. I mean, is that you, Cassiopeia? This guy's so terrible at his fucking. <laughs> In the flesh. I have a task for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. I don't like where this is going. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay, will do. Is that a weird request? Alright, I've got my cellular telephone device. I was about to say, does he even know how to record a video? <laughs> He's recording it uh, vertically instead of horizontally. And allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss, Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No, Penny. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I almost now, dropped dead of a heart attack. Bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. Oh, good lord. So I knew... She doesn't really give off founder energy. Right? I knew going into this that she had an evolution team. I mean, I mean it's pretty kinda, obvious with the EV The minute backpack. you see her. <laughs> but I... So I knew you battled her. I hadn't... I guessed it was probably this, but I wasn't sure. Uh... I guess this. Apparently, I've fought an Umbreon already. Really? Uh huh. Wow, where'd you see one of them? I haven't seen one. Ooh, I got a crit. Oh, it knows Psychic. <laughs> oh no. Don't touch my crit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the health back. Oh man. I will forever have the mind of a five year old. Uh. Oh, jeez. Did it lower your attack? I don't know. I haven't been really paying attention. I just keep clicking play rough over and over. Flareon. Yes, it is lowering my attack. So against Making the... It's quite tedious. Flareon, I shall use the Tannenbaum. What is Tannenbaum a reference to? Why does that sound familiar? Um, there's a Dr. Tannenbaum in... Uh, oh, it's Doctor Who? No. Oh. Wow, okay. Um, Never mind. Bioshock. Bioshock? Yeah. I've never played those. Really good games. It's a Leafeon. Sorry, Eric. I have to do it. Leafeon is Eric's all-time favorite Pokemon. Mine? Uh, probably Rayquaza. But if I... Uh, oh, okay. If, if you say no legendaries... Then, hmm. Tor Torterra? Like the grotto? Uh, like, I like the, the grass starter from Gen 4. I really like him. Church and grotto and if Torterra. you say no starters... Hmm. Gotta oh. give you take legendaries and starters off. Because obviously, like, they kind of get special treatment. I don't know what I'd pick. No legendaries, no starters. Flygon. You know what? The Flygon line. So that's... There we go. That's my top three Pokemon. Because technically my favorite one is a legendary, and you, a lot of people might not want to count that. And then my second favorite is a starter, and a lot of people might not want to count that. Oh, I'm so. sorry, Cheddar. Flygon, if you're one of those people that doesn't count any of those things. And if you don't care, well then, whatever. I don't care either. I don't care that you don't care. You're fine. I'm fine that you're fine. And what did he send there? Ah, oh, I didn't pay attention. Yeah. Are I they didn't. going in the same order? 
No. Damn it. It'll be whatever's really good against the Pokemon you had out. So it'll probably be Jolteon. So Dark Diver is a good switch. I, I wasn't paying attention. I was just was too busy arguing with myself. Let's see if I called it. Holy Diver. Oh, oh shit. It's all your fault, Eric. I'm dead. Hmm. Whatever, Isaac can probably take a hit. Oh, Lord. I'm really not worried about Penny. Not like I was with, uh, Arvin. Arvin had, like, a way tougher team than he, like, than I was expecting at all. Yeah. Like, Clavel was a pushover. Penny seems to be a pushover so far, but Arvin, like, Eric barely scraped through, and I had to fight him three times. Uh-oh. Oh, it outspeeds me. I'm sorry, Isaac. <gasps> yes! Isaac! Leafeon. You agile motherfucker! Zuko, let's go! Ah! I hit the face with some sand. You deserve a hyper potion for that. I was gonna let you die! <laughs> but not anymore! Okay, so after this, I have to deal with that dang freaking Sylveon, I'm guessing. What's, uh, right. I don't know, you know, Fairy is probably the type I know the absolute least. It'll be Sylveon or Glaceon, and I don't see them using Glaceon. Yeah, Sylveon. Um, what is, uh, Fairy's weakness? Poison and Steel are its only weaknesses. Poison. Oh, man. What hits Nooch? <laughs> I don't have poison or steel. I don't have any of those. Uh, most things, but do not use dragon or dark. Or fighting. Um, dragon, dark, fighting, okay. It resists fighting, it resists dark, and it is immune to dragon. Uh, this Vaporeon is gonna hurt me. Isaac's not gonna live. Let's see dodges again. Oh, I hope nope. that... Oh, Lord. Please be Terra Fairy. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Terra it's Fairy. gotta be. It is. What does Fairy get? A heart with wings? Uh-huh. I mean, I suppose... That's about as fairy as anything. It has Shadow Ball. That's not a bad bit of coverage on it. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not good, oh yeah, though. I guess mint is very strong. That's the <laughs> oh, thing. that explains why it dropped like that. And probably outspeeds it. Flower trick, mint! You're a star, baby. Look at your shine. A critical hit. Do 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 Dark Diver wants to move the learn Fisher. That has a 30% accuracy, but insta kills. <sighs> I mean, Earthquake usually insta kills anyway when I'm using it against. Right? Like, <laughs> I'll, I'm alright. It actually does increase by, like, a small amount per level for accuracy over, like, for each level you have over your opponent. But if your opponent is a higher level, it was guaranteed to fail. Oh, crap, you're at the end. I gotta yeah. catch up. Hurry, Joe! And maybe some mustard, too! Ha-ha! <laughs> there. <laughs> and I didn't even tell him to do chili reception. <laughs> you know what? I feel bad for Flareon. So it has Flare Blitz now. It took it a long time to get Flare Blitz. And before that, the best physical fire type move it learned was Fire Fang. Which is not very good. You'd think to fix it, instead of giving it a phys one physical move, they would just switch its attack stats so it was uh, they don't like switching stats on Pokemon they'll buff stats mm. 
Anyway. Tiny Team Star, Jolteon. Wow, I'm still way behind. How'd you finish that so fast? Um, really good crit luck. Dark Diver. Now it's Dark Diver's time to shine. Cool. Doo -doo -doo. And actually... Um... Oh. Where's our pizza delivery guy at? <laughs> we got pizza on the way. Yeah, we do. I'm excited. I love pizza. I'm okay with pizza. I don't think it's like the god food everybody else makes it out to be. It's good, but I don't even think it makes like top 10 of my favorite foods. Oh, apparently it's here. What? Yeah, it's contactless delivery, but... Oh, that's just but sitting it's out, out in the, the snow. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to pause the episode for one second here and get our pizza. Okay, we're back. Sorry. I didn't eat my pizza yet, though. It's sitting upstairs getting cold, so let's crush Penny. And then get to pizza. Uh, what, what is she sending out? Sylveon. Sylveon. Oh, oh yeah, God. everything's new. I'm just gonna hit it with Earthquake and see what happens. Yeah, that's probably the best bet. It's got much higher special defense than physical defense, if I remember right. I wish they'd, uh, I wish they'd complete the Eevee, Eeveelution tree. Like, I want every single type to have an Eeveelution. All of them. It kind of doesn't make sense that they haven't done that. It would be, like, the obvious move. So, not counting Fairy, because it didn't exist when Pokemon first was created. All the Eeveelution types so far have been what were back in the original game days, special attacking types. So back before moves could be physical or special, types were physical or special. That's hard to keep track of. That also All meant right, that, that didn't hurt. So is ice good? Or should I have oil? Um, ice would be a neutral, but I'm gonna see what happens. I know I lose my stab, but I'm still checking it out because you also lose a bunch of power. <laughs> See, look how much Holy I shit, you got the freeze. Look at that, see? Freeze I did the right hacks. thing after all. The force is with me. Now you just gotta hope it doesn't thaw the next the force. Turn. And the force is with me. Yeah, I, every time I freeze a Pokemon, they, they it seems like they thaw immediately. I got a lucky there, but it's like, oh, they're frozen for one to four turns. And I'm like, bullshit, I've never seen a Pokemon be frozen for four turns. You know what would be really bad luck, though? Just seeing the frozen thing is rare. Getting something frozen, being somehow trapped in, and only having, like, a fire-type move to hit it with, because that means you're guaranteed to thaw it. I defeated Penny of Team Star. Nicely done. My hippo's pissed. <laughs> you better run, Penny. He's angry. Alright, Eric. Now you can finally read your line. <laughs> it's all over now. Fifteen grand? And not even in your fake LP currency? Sweet. Ooh. I don't want your Disney bucks, Penny. It's finally over, guys. It's done. Except, uh, Disney, if you ever want to sponsor, I'll take your bucks. Seriously. <laughs> Pay me! <No. laughs> uh, I'll take Disney money all day long. Yeah, throw it at me, I'll do whatever. <laughs> We're done here. What? I think we should call it quits. Oh, we're on track. the phone again. You did. Oh! Hold up, are you saying we should break up the team? I don't really remember this guy's voice. You gotta be joking! We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard to make a show of learning him some manners. Good lord. What kind of school is this? There's no order. Are there <laughs> police? They need some Officer Jennings. They got Nurse Joys, but no Officer Jennings. Uh, but didn't fight them in the end. Didn't do anything wrong. Eerie innocent. Indeed. 
Merely did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyrannous operation. Twas a bloodless victory, we assure you. Who did this guy? You did. What was his voice? I don't remember. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. We just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. Your out... Good lord. But the police a made a huge milk. stink about what went down. And then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our so plan backfired plop epically. Plop this group of kids into a real rough neighborhood and they die in five minutes. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. This little stunt must have put us up, or might have put us up the creek. Up Shit's Creek. Without a paddle. I'll Whoa, we, what do you mean we can't say that in a Pokemon game? I'll fix this on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind big boss. You cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay and shut your- shut in- uh, wow, what the fuck? I cannot read. There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop there, BB. Why you talk like never speak again? Hulk Miss Cassiopeia. I need to go take care of some things. And some stuff. I wouldn't recommend it. Prithy, speak to us. What is thine intent? I hate the fucking ninja guy. He speaks like a jackass. Hey, big boss, answer us. <laughs> Hurry, I have to pee. <laughs> That's why I'm doing the pee dance. Bye bye, guys. Thanks for everything. She didn't even use technology to spy on them. She's like a good old window. <laughs> They'll never hear me through this single pane window. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Eric. And you too, Clive. They turn around, she's like, oh shit, and ducks into the bush. <laughs> All of a sudden, the phone call goes quiet. <laughs> uh, good lord. I'm glad I could see you, th see this through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star. And me too. Hold that thought, Miss uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Does this wig make Check me look fat? What? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big but? Yeah, I'd like to know too. This whole, like the bad guy in this game is like probably the most muddiest. Actually, you know what? Uh, Team Star's bad guys were silly too. Or uh, not Team Star. Uh, Generation 8's. Team Yell. Sort, yeah, they were silly. Can we get a real bad guy? Are they too? I'm. My, here's my question. Is Pokemon too afraid to do a Team Rocket again? And I don't mean specifically Team Rocket, but I mean like hardened criminals. I mean, technically they've gone with the twist, but not really. You can see it coming a mile away, bad guys, for Gen 7 and 8. I want, uh, I don't know, I, I wouldn't mind like a, a just a regular like... Team Galactic or Team Rocket or like one of those bad guys again. I'm sick of this bully crap or this uh, rowdy fan crap. You've been skipping dialogue. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why. My hand just... <laughs> it's a Pokemon game. I'm used to just pressing A the whole time. Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order I people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. So it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. It's rule number four of the bro code. 
Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them. Anything? Can you write new codes? <laughs> it's just like gets really R-rated suddenly. Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. <laughs> anything. <laughs> oh, I gotta go to somewhere else now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's still me. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star... No. What do your friends in the team mean to you? Are we in therapy? They're... They're my greatest treasure. Imagine that's what Clive is. He's like an expert mobile therapist. He, like, you don't have to go to his office. He comes to you. <laughs> Splendid! Thank you for apprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Wow, Penny, I thought you were smart. I thought that was your whole thing, was like... <sighs> D Director Clavel! Yes, Penny, it was obvious. Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy knew as Clive... The boy you knew as Clive was mine. But, but why? <laughs> this is like almost a comedy. <laughs> right? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to teachers, after all. Much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings the, about that wig. Th the lady with the colored hair, the double colored hair, the great ball hair, the Eevee backpack, and the brightly colored leggings thinks that his outfit was too much. I can understand not liking the pompadour wig. That was a little over the top. I mean, it's funny. Plus, I have some... Oh, that's you. Never mind. Ahem. Well, that's quite enough of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Come on down to The Price is Right. Get on up and you don't stop. I'm assuming this is... Up. I'll bet one dollar. Fuck you! <laughs> uh, well, like, long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. I was gonna say, God, better, better read hard. fast. Verily, is thy long hidden countenance a sight for sore eyes, my lady. Ugh. Atticus is a creep. So, um, I heard your real name's Penny. How you been this whole time? Are you macking on her? You look like her. We found at last. No idea how worried Eerie been. Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed Giacomo's line. Okay, gang, on the count of three. Hasta la vista, Cassiopeia. By the way, here's the cease and desist from Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. With the power of friendship, we can do anything. Now then, Miss Petty, and each and every one of you young bosses as well, on behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You're all expelled. Get out. <laughs> you have my sincerest apologies. Come again? <laughs> That's them, officer. <laughs> Just cops swarm in and, like, arrest them all. <laughs> this was his sting the whole time. Uh, as director of the academy, I let you down. My handling of the situation was a dismissal failure. A dismal failure. What? I still don't... I mean, why? As you, all you told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions, ever since my first days as director, all I've wanted to experience at the academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. But now I know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger. And of course, 
your immense courage in putting things right. And so, I'll get right to the conclusion after five more minutes of dialogue. <laughs> the Academy <laughs> the Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Yes, indeed. Team Star can continue to exist. Should that be your wish? Yeah! Now we can go do hood rat stuff with our friends! You remember that kid <laughs> who stole the he stole his grandma's car and like totaled it and then the news like interviewed him and he's like I like to do hood rat stuff with my friends. It was like the best answer ever. <laughs> Woohoo! Penny isn't great. Now Kong can stay together. Oh, mine heart is giddy with glee. But but I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel, St Clavel told us about it. As far as we heard, you only went through with it to save us from getting expelled. Not that we were going to school anyway. Not like we'd ever chuck the team just cause someone told us to after all. Ain't I style? You guys don't have matching style though. None I cannot you. even be begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. I guess they match in the fact that none of them match. Sorry for making BB worry. We're okay now. But even so... Eerie hungry. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. I've more to say. Of course you have more to say. It's not like my pizza's getting cold or anything. <laughs> God damn As it, previously Clavel. stated, the requirement for Team Star to expand has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Ha! Your pro your protracted protracted true. What does protracted mean in that sense? I've only like ever seen the the, the fucking tool for measuring angles. Yeah, I'm not sure. Your protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school uniforms, your unauthorized usage of academy... So this is his sting. <laughs> right? Your reckless modification of je uh, je jeopardous, je jeopardous driving of Pokemon-powered vehicles. Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for school rules can s not simply be overlooked. Jesus. <laughs> You've been waiting like months to say that, haven't you? Thus, as punishment, you'll all be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes. Specifically, I'll be asking you to manage the STCs and the STDs. Right. Be careful handling those ones. <laughs> uh, and that stands for sexually transmitted diseases. Star oh, you mean the first centers. one? Star training centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon traders' talents. I plan for the academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master Eli and Eric battling their way through the bases. The base's construction, as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star, are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members. Now, come meet with me in my bedroom for your STD staff member cards. <laughs> Anyone want gonorrhea? And that's the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Uh, yeah, um, all of the Garneria no, stuff. No, <laughs> it sounds like fun. I don't see how this would be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say, but since the STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true. We would most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can go school together, learn ABCs. We're already talking about how great it would be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. School is cool! 
Don't be a fool. So, what do you say? You guys sound like a like a 90s Aaron, anti-drug Eli, PSA. What do you guys think? I don't care what you do. Give it your best, sure. I think it sounds great. Huh? But but um I just No need to give your spots right this moment, Miss Patty. Do take some time to decide. For now at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. So the boys can go eat their pizza. I'm skipping it. Let's go. I want pizza. Right. Master Eli, please stop by my office later. After your pizza. Ah, faster. Here we are. Okay. We're in our bedrooms. Saving. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Yes, thank you so much. We're going to eat pizza. Yep. Bye. Bye.